Today I'm going to cook some fresh, fresh shrimp, halibut. We have fresh spinach, shiitake mushrooms, garlic, fresh herbs, lemon. What I'm going to make today: shrimp scampi over rice, and we're going to make a real quick teriyaki sauce for the halibut. As you can see, we're in a home kitchen right now, and there's no special utensils here, no special commercial ovens. It's just like you're in my house, and I'm going to cook for you. I'm going to show you how to cook very fast. This is going to be very fast speed cooking. Shrimp scampi, halibut. It's going to be done in about approximate time what it would normally take you to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Start get going on this, you will see. The main, the most important thing is you have all your fresh ingredients ready. Always go with the best possible shrimp you can find. Preferably wild shrimp from the Pacific. They got the best shrimp over there. Try not to use the shrimp that's got formaldehyde in it, chemical. Don't use that stuff. It's okay to use frozen shrimp. Most of the time, it doesn't matter where you live, the frozen shrimp is going to be the freshest. So use frozen shrimp, make sure it's a really good high quality brand, and you get it from a place you can trust. Same thing with the fish. Absolutely use the freshest possible fish possible. This is beautiful halibut here. I just got it from the fish place, and it's really, really good. I don't smell anything. It smells like the ocean. All this stuff is fresh. Alright, here we go. Uh, we got frying pans. Two frying pans getting ready here. Getting hot. Not stick. If you want, if you're really good, you can use these. I'm gonna make my own teriyaki sauce in this pan here. I have a little bit of uh, ginger, fresh ginger. I'm gonna slice it into thin little strips. Now when you make teriyaki sauce, Leave the skin on. It's perfectly fine because we're going to get rid of this. We're going to throw this out. What we're going to do is we're going to get a lot of ginger flavor in here. And here we go. Throw in the ginger in there. And this is a hot pan. You can. You hear that sizzling already? It's caramelizing. Now. I'm going to use some brandy in here. Usually you probably want to use some cooking wine, Japanese wine, or maybe even some sake. I'm just going to put some brandy in here. See that? Let this cook off. Put it on there. Get the alcohol out of there. I'm going to try to make this teriyaki sauce without using any cornstarch. But, you know, that's what gets it thick. I'm going to use some low sodium soy sauce. Enough for two pieces of fish. It's getting hot here. Here we go. Say about a quarter cup sodium, low sodium soy sauce, right in there. See that? All right. Let that cook off with brandy. Yaki sauce. It's usually sweet and sour, so you need a little sugar in there, and you also need a little vinegar in there. So we got a little bit of rice vinegar over here. Put about three tablespoons of vinegar in there. Three tablespoons of sugar. Alright, we're gonna let this cook off in a little bit of fresh water. I like using bottled water. That's alright, a little water in there. I never use tap water. The reason why sometimes it has chlorine in it and it messes up the flavor of the dish. I never cook pasta. Also, there's a little bit of rice here going on too for uh, for our teriyaki. Almost done. Simmering. We're gonna lower the temperature down a little. Stir it. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, so more soy sauce in here. The show, by the way, is not copyrighted. So uh, anybody who wishes to use this, copy it. Uh, Show it to somebody else. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Okay, so we got our pans hot. I 
Watch how fast this is going to cook. So we got some shrimp here. These are 1620s, beautiful shrimp. So what I do is, I put a little flour on them. Not too much, just a little bit of flour. Season it with some salt. I use fresh sea salt, very little salt. Don't use a lot of salt. Ground fresh pepper. Always extra virgin olive oil, the best you can find. We'll add some olive oil. This is going to be very fast. We put about about ten shrimp. Don't overcrowd the plate. Two pieces. Now we're going to sear this pan. Starting to smell a teriyaki sauce. There we go. That's our halibut right there. And so we're going to cook it in the frying pan until about medium rare. Always use fresh garlic. Squeeze some fresh lemon in there. White wine. In this case, I'm using a little bit of brand. I would recommend to use white wine also. I'm going to thicken the sauce. A couple pats of butter. i throw that in there. Parsley. Chicken stock or fish stock, I use a little bit of water to thin out the sauce. There's a lot of garlic in there, a lot of lemon, a little bit of butter, fresh herbs. I also had some uh, halibut left over and some shrimp. I put a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw in the oven with some fresh herbs and garlic. I'm going to basically broil this. This is very healthy and it's another style of scampi without sauteing it, like that, with butter and all that, what we're going to do is just use some fresh garlic, okay. like that, a lot of fresh garlic, fresh herbs, going to season a little bit, this is a combination of uh, salt, pepper, oregano, some hot peppers, pretty cool seasoning here. I also like to use smoked paprika. Teriyaki sauce is almost ready. This is our seafood right here. Extra virgin olive. You kind of, kind of broil it so it doesn't touch the bottom. Throw it in there, and here we go. Almost done. I'm gonna finish this off in the oven. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for a couple minutes. It's fresh spinach. We're gonna make a nice bed for the halibut, fresh spinach and shiitake mushrooms with teriyaki sauce and rice. Here we go. Extra virgin olive oil, fresh garlic, fresh herbs, shiitake mushrooms. Original olive oil, color that. There we go. Very sparingly, just a little more spinach. I'm going to saute this off. And add a little bit of sauce. I got away without using any cornstarch here. So there's a little bit of sauce. Wow. That's one dish. And this is so healthy. 
Now we're going to play the scampi. We get a nice blade here. I cooked off this beautiful fresh fettuccine. You can also use rice on this. We're going to plate this. We're going to reduce the sauce a little bit. Check this beautiful shrimp. It only cooked like a couple minutes. You don't want to overcook the shrimp. All right, here we go. How's that? All right. This is our sauce. This is a basic sauce right here. All it is is fresh garlic. I use a little bit of brandy, but normally you would use white wine. I'm just gonna have white wine. Just as tasty. Same family. A little butter, fresh herbs. A little bit of more fresh herbs. We're gonna sauce this up. Lemon on there, and voila! A bit of decoration. All right, we're gonna take a break. We left over. I cook this down. Finish this up. All right, the pan is a little too hot, so put it over here. See how it's smoking? When it smokes like that, it's too hot, so you can't cook in it. So we're going to wait for it to cool off. I'm going to make shrimp teriyaki. Got the teriyaki sauce over there. Taki mushroom. Olivo. Back in there. Salt and pepper. So we got a little bit of teriyaki sauce left. So we're going to use it up. It would go on here in the oven. We got the seat. It's almost done. All right. Here we go. Let's do something. I'm gonna need some water to loosen it up a little bit. And I didn't use any cornstarch today. I made a small batch of teriyaki sauce. And it looks like it's good without cornstarch. When you make a lot of it, you're gonna need some teriyaki sauce and cornstarch. Look at the shrimp, nice and seared. Cooked it real fast, right at home. If you want to impress somebody at home, you can do it. It's very simple. Okay, so I put a little bit too much of halibut and a little bit too much of shrimp. So what I did was just boil it in the oven. Some fresh herbs, fresh garlic, lemon. I didn't use any wine on this. This is also a scampi. There's a number of ways you can do scampis. You can broil it. Basically what scampi is, generally speaking, it's something, a form of seafood, usually shrimp or some kind of fish, and there's garlic involved, some lemon, usually wine, but not necessarily. You can broil it, you can bake it, you can saute it, you can char grill it, you can barbecue it. Here we go. This is Chef Olvis, over and out.